If I can see it, then I can do it. Offensive line got embarrassed. They look so stupid. Man, listen, Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. I got a new guy that come through, you know, a new guy come through and do the lawn. He got it looking real good. See, my problem was the edging on the outside of the lawn. Aiden, bruh. my problem was the edging on the outside of the lawn. I wasn't trying to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my, shout out to the, uh, the new guy that come through and, and, and take care of that for me. What's going on, Lenny D? What's up? What's up? What's up? Family, what up? What up with y'all? Shout out my guy Isaac the Barber. Went to hide him today. It actually took two times for him to reverse the scalping from when I switched up barbers. But we got a lot to talk about. Ethan, what's up? We're going to talk a little bit before y'all get in mode for the Sixers game and watch the Sixers finish the process of becoming. You know, and right now the Sixers are in the belly of the snake. You see that fat lump in the snake's stomach? That's the Sixers. This is the game. Would the, would the animal fight back and come out the stomach? Or the acid from the stomach start to break the animal down? This is the game. <laughs> because if they lose this one, they get it's a rap. It's a rapsy scapsy. You know what I mean? What's going on with the uh, what's going on with the O line? Woo! Woo! Isaac the Barber, yeah. Shout out my guy, Isaac the Barber. You're fixing me up. I broke the commandment a couple a couple weeks ago. Went to a new barber. Everything was off, man. Listen, listen, man. We, listen, when you go, listen. When you got you a barber, make sure you don't switch up. Everything, man. My, my God, man. My, my God just good. My God just good for me. You know what I'm saying? But listen, though, man. The offensive line was out there getting Peter ruled today, man. They was out there getting bad. They was out there getting done bad. Bad. It's, it's, it's no way. Listen, man. Drew Mylotta ain't ready. Andre Dillard, Andre Dillard be barely looked ready. You know what I'm saying? They saying that Malik Jackson was just dismantling Pryor and um, JP. Having his way. Having his way with Pryor and JP. Yeah, th this is what you got to understand. Hargrave not even out there right now. If Hargrave was out there, Malik Jackson had three sacks today. If Hargrave was out there, bruh. It would have been worse. I think the quarterback got sacked like nine times. Exactly, LB. I had to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I guess the, I think the quarterback got sacked, uh, you, you know, and that's the Graylin Arnold coming for Sidney or Rasul's spot. I believe that. I believe that as well. Guess we're going to have a dominant D-line. Yeah, but is, is, is our, is, is our, is our, is our D-line, see, this is a good and a bad thing. Is our defensive line, other, is our defensive line so dominant, so dominant? That they just doing whatever they want? Are, are, are they that good that they just manhandling this line, this offensive line, and they're going to do this to everybody else? Or is our offensive line this bad? It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign, but it's a positive you could take from it, though. The positive that you could take from it is this. You can take from it that the offensive line going to have to step up and meet this, meet this line's intensity. The seventh-round rookie had two sacks. Wow. Who? 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 Kirsten? Which one? The seven round rookie. Ah, his name on the tip of my tongue. Casey Tuhill? He buns. Tuhill had two. That's what I'm saying, bruh. Casey Tuhill ain't supposed to get no sacks, bruh. He not posed to get no sacks, bruh. That's not a good sign, man. I'm telling you, that's not a good sign at all, bruh. He ain't posed to get no sack too. That's not a good sign at all. J.J. Ortega Whiteside stepping up. Yeah, he looked okay today. You know what I'm saying? I hope he step up. But the offensive line, I'm telling you, man, if the offensive line don't get it together, then nobody ain't going to be able to catch no passes from Carson Wentz. I'm sleeping on KC Tuhill. I'm not sleeping on him, but he the last person. He the last person that I expected to eat. He the last person that I expected to eat. Malik Jackson with three. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sleep on nobody who ain't seen no real film on yet.
KC2 is very athletic. We bad. Man. Listen, our offensive line bad. I think, now I'm not trying to cause no panic. I think they need to bring somebody in. I think they need to bring somebody in. Because if my Lada is backing up Dillard, oh man. Oh man. My Lada ain't he, my Lada ain't got it, bruh. I don't think I don't think he I think my Lada not even gonna be in the league in the next year, bruh. I think this might lot of last year in the league. And they said he slammed his helmet down in the ground in frustration at the end of practice. Prince Tega is good. Well, they need to give him a shot. Matt, Pry Matt Pryor played tackle, too. Well, they had him in there at guard, I think, today. And he was out there getting rolled up like a gyro. Extra lamb, extra sauce. They was rolling him up. Well, there you go. So much attention to our interior. All ends, uh, all ends can eat. But that old line better get it together. We got starters, but death might be questionable. Death might be death. Death is definitely questionable. It's definitely questionable. I mean, do you understand they would have got embarrassed? Do you understand they would have got embarrassed if Hargrave practiced today? I can already tell you how this is looking. They're double. They're double teaming Fletcher Cox. They're double teaming Fletcher Cox. And Malik Jackson is dismantling whoever one on one. That's what that's 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 what got it. That's this is where Tim Jernigan failed to to prosper. If Tim Jernigan can constantly beat his man one on one because Fletcher's getting all the attention, Tim Jernigan would still be here. Malik Jackson wouldn't be here. Malik Jackson wouldn't be here. You cannot double team Hardgrave and Fletcher Cox at the same time. It is impossible. I'm telling you. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. And you cannot guard one. You, you, can, you cannot have Fletcher Cox one-on-one -on -one, or you cannot have Hargrave one-on-one. -on -one. When them two dudes in the middle, is going to be a problem for anybody in the NFL. I don't care if you got the best offensive line ever. These dudes cannot be blocked one-on-one, -on -one, bro. And Malik Jackson is looking just as lethal. You know what I'm saying? Just as lethal. The offensive line got to get it together. I don't under, I, I don't know what it is. And they even said the dude Sweat, Josh Sweat, he had he they said he had Dillard all on his heels. He had Dillard on his heels for most of the day, coming off the edge. My concern is that it happened twice. They were supposed to bounce back after the first. You you absolutely right. That's a huge concern for me as well. They they're being overpowered. They're being overpowered. They're being overpowered. You getting Madden 21? Absolutely. My, my copy's reserved. I pick mine up on Tuesday. Absolutely, man. It's not, it's not supposed to be happening as frequent as it's happening. Dillard can't handle the bull rush. I mean, and if you know that, and I know that, what you think everybody else is going to do? Send a bull rush at him? Send a bull rush at him? The only way to offset this, if this offensive line plays this bad during the season, the only way to... Uh, Joe, Joe Oatsman is solid. Injured sideline injury sideline them last year. Josh Josh Sweat is uh underrated. You're absolutely right. Josh Sweat is definitely underrated. He's very underrated. You know what I mean? Deshaun Hall was underrated as well. You know what I'm saying? The only way to offset this, in my opinion, from a coaching standpoint and an X and O standpoint, is you gotta run the ball a lot. You gotta let your offensive line punch the defense in the face first. You can't come out pass happy if your offensive line is bad. You got to let your defensive line get off the ball. You got to run some misdirections. You got to do a lot of different stuff, man, because the weapons that Carson Wentz got, it's imperative that he's able to sit in the pocket for a few seconds and get a good ball off. It's imperative, man. Aren't we overreacting to one day of practice? I mean, Stephen White, it got to go both ways. It got to go both ways, Stephen White. We could be happy about the wide receivers one day. You know what I'm saying? I could have titled this video... Then talked about how good Ortega Whiteside is doing. But that seems to be a trending topic. The wide receivers are, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the wide receivers are looking good in camp. Shout out to Ortega Whiteside. I'm not trying to take no shine from him. But there's a long list of wide receivers that's doing this in camp. Ortega Whiteside, listen, Deshaun Jackson and Carson Wentz's timing is down pat. They play like they've been playing together for years. And only got two games under their belt. The concern is the offensive line. This is two days in a row. We didn't bring it up the first time on this channel. I ain't bring it up the first time. Two days in a row now. They, I, I heard they got embarrassed. That was the word used to me by somebody who was actually there.
They got embarrassed. It was embarrassing. Now, mind you, I haven't seen any film of it. You know what I'm saying? But I worked myself into a position for people that is, are there. You know what I mean? They said they was embarrassed. You know what I mean? LB, we should go. Uh, we should go block to Car Carson. Take my six. Uh, take my six. Uh, my three sixty five bench and your four hundred bench. Let's go, son. Man, it's about it's about technique. Because listen, DH Eagle, if these dudes, these dudes are benching more than both of us. They benching more than both of us. They push them more weight. They, they push weight every day. They've been training for a lifetime of this. It's technique. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. It's technique. Somebody not anchoring their butt. Somebody not moving their hips right. They getting hit with swim moves, bull rushes. They around there getting thrown around, bro. They getting thrown around. Move JP back to left tackle and put one of the rookies in, in right guard. I don't know if they want to do that, but I think Pryor could play right guard. I feel you, DH Eagle. I think Pryor can play right guard. I think he can play right guard. This whole thing, the position is Dillard's. Listen, man, we trying to win a championship. If he ain't the man for the job, then the position ain't got to be his. You see what I'm saying? And I, I, I and to be honest, I ain't even I, like I didn't even really fully 100% believe Dillard via his press conference. He didn't seem confident. He didn't seem confident. You know what I'm saying? He didn't seem confident. So am I worried about Chase Young doing what he want to him? Absolutely. I'm absolutely worried week one if, if Chase Young going to do what he want to him. You know what I'm saying? He got to show us, bruh. <clears throat> one, key, one key thing I, I give uh, Jeff Stoutland some time, if anything, he can turn it around. It's him. I feel you, though. Yeah. He's going to have to turn it around. You don't have to turn it around. Now ain't the time to kiss nobody ass. I don't care how many Pro Bowls Lane been to. I don't care how many Pro Bowls Jason Peters been to, the Hall of Fame or whatever. I don't care about all the great things Kelsey did. The facts of the matter is this. They out there looking bad. You know what I'm saying? They out there looking bad. And they need to get it together. This definitely uh, this definitely over overreacting. Shireen, Sh Shireen Smith, Miss Smith. You got to talk about the good and the bad. Where was all the this overreacting when I was praising the rookie wide receivers? Where's all this overreacting then? Was I overreacting then? Was I overreacting then? I you you know you I, I can't I can't I can't just tell y'all about everything good. We not a we not a perfect football team. We not a perfect football team. The last three, four videos in a row have been me praising what's been going on in camp. And the first time we get something negative, and I let the first one slide. I let the first, I let the first one slide. This is overreacting to offensive line. It's all right, we good, man. I let the first one slide. You got to talk about the good and the bad. So what do you expect the coaches to do? You expect the coaches to give everybody a massage? We'll get them next time, Tiger. No, y'all got to get it together. You got a $100 million quarterback you're responsible for protecting. A $100 million quarterback you're responsible for protecting. If Malik Jackson beat you once, it should be really hard for him to beat you the second time. And if he beat you the second time, and if he beat you three times, you got to come out the game. If you can't contain a man, if a man get three sacks, I need to make an adjustment. Period. I need to make an adjustment. You know what I'm saying? Getting me mad. It's getting me mad. Everybody got to be held accountable, man. There's no such thing as overreacting. These multi-million dollar athletes, you get paid to play a position. Pay your, play your position. Now, I'm not saying the offensive line trash. Right now, I'm saying they're not looking good in practice. And what you practice on the field, what you practice at practice translates on the field. You, you see what I'm saying? All that stuff you do in practice translate to the field. How y'all think Antonio Brown so good? You think it's God-given ability? He was a low draft pick. Practice. Practice. Perfecting your craft, man. And it's a veteran group up front, man. So at the end of the day, man, I expect them to turn it around. But you got to be concerned about it. You have to be concerned about it. Maybe we just that good. Hey, I'll take that for right now. I'll take that for right now. 
Maybe we are just that good on the defensive side of the ball. Maybe we are. You know what I'm saying? But if but but if we're in the middle of the season talking about how we can't generate a pass rush, the offensive line was just that bad then. How do you feel about Carson's issues the other day? What issues? A couple interceptions in practice? See, practice is never practice is never friendly for a quarterback. Practice is never friendly for a quarterback. I'm going to tell you why. The defense, Jalen Mills, Rodney McLeod, and them dudes, they know Carson with his mannerisms. They know everything. Hey, Bashir, what's up? Hey, thank you for the donation, Eagle Swag Nation. They know everything about Carson Wentz. They've been seeing him in practice for four years now. A lot of these guys. Maddox got years under his belt watching him throw. Sidney. Rasul Douglas. They do. They know Carson's mannerisms. What they don't know is these wide receivers' mannerisms. That's why they're getting cooked. That's why they're getting cooked. They don't know the twitchy movements that these wide receivers make. When you've been practicing against the same quarterback and Jalen Hurts is having some success, they don't know his mannerisms. They don't know what he's going to throw. They don't know when he's looking somebody off. Come on. Come on. But offensive line play, play in the trenches. I play tight end. Play in the trenches. That's man against man. When it's time to block, it's technique against technique, man against man. It ain't easy to play in them trenches, man. It ain't easy to play in them trenches. I'm not going to sit here. I'm, I, I can't. I can't. I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be me if I didn't give y'all the good, the good and the bad. I wouldn't be me. And today, in my opinion, was a bad practice for the offensive line. It was a bad practice for the offensive line. You know what I'm saying? And none of my coaches, whether I play basketball or football, none of my coaches came and gave me a shoulder rub when I stunk up in practice. Nah, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Over slash under that Jason Peter plays at least 10 games. Over. Jason Peter's going to play more than 10 games. Undrafted free agent Noah Togi was balling uh was balling today. I heard, I heard that. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? I heard that for sure. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. I'm trying to get to 13,000 subscribers before the season starts. You know what I'm saying? That's a long shot. We got three weeks to get like what 400 something more subs or something like that. I think 300 something more. We got like three weeks to do that. But you know, anything's possible with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Yannick, what about Yannick? He don't play for the Philadelphia Eagles. YBN, what's up, man? What it do, dog? Let me tell, let, let me tell y'all about my Grubhub experience yesterday and how I almost got to throw in hands with the Grubhub dude. So I ordered my Grubhub, like $50 worth of food or something like that. I come out the back, or man, this is the back of my house. Like I, I come off the patio to get something out the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting something out the car. I see the car creeping, the Grubhub car. He got his girl in the passenger seat. I see the bag on the lap. That's how I knew it was Grubhub. They had my food. I get to the front to make sure. I'm like, oh, come on, you riding around people in the wheel with my food? It's a pandemic. I brush that off. Open the bag. Everything wasn't there. Hey, Philly, two five, Philly 215, man. What's up, man? Thank you for the donation, bro. Open the bag. Everything wasn't there. Open, open the French fry container. So, you know how somebody bite a fry and it's like an uneven bite? You could tell. Bro, I was tight, bro. I was tight. I called Grubhub. I asked for his number because he got to live in my area. I was tight, bro. I was tight. I even said something to Grubhub on Twitter. You know what I mean? I, 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 was, I was upset. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm doing no more business with Grubhub, bro. Word, that was crazy. That was crazy. And this the kicker with Grubhub. I'm like, yeah, it looked like my food was tampered with. First of all, the, all the, the wings ain't even in the bag, but the sauce for the wings in the bag. Come on, I ordered from Bar Louie. I'm like, yo, I know Bar Louie ain't going to put the sauce in the bag and not the wings. Hey, hey, Lone Revolver, man, thank you for the um, donation. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bruh. Shorty ate the wings. I got caught slipping. She ate the wings. It is what it is. I called Grubhub. Listen, my food was tampered with. Grubhub tell me, well, what was tampered with? I'm like, the fries and the wings. They, 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 they go through the menu for Bar Louie and like, well, we can refund you for the fries and the wings. I'm like, so you think I'm going to eat these nachos and the pizza? If you tampered with one thing, you, you, you opened the bag. You broke the seal on the bag. You know what I'm saying? I need my full refund. I'm fighting with these people on the phone. 
over a full. They tried to give me seventeen dollars back. I threw all the food in the trash. I'm done with Grubhub, bro. Cook your own food, ladies and gentlemen. Cook your own food. You know what I mean? That's the moral of that story. Yeah, them them delivery apps, man. They 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 not they not good. They not good. They not good. They're not good at all. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, bro. And I know sure I know Shorty ate the food. She had that look. She had that look like, yeah, I was in your fries. She had, she had that look. Like, 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 like a grease ball. Like, you know what I mean? She had that look, bro. And it's like, bro. Yeah, yeah, you could you could you can make the you can make the delivery and go get it. DoorDash delivery or my uh um, DoorDash delivery ate my potatoes from Wendy's. Wow. I wouldn't even DoorDash no Wendy's. You could just go to the drive thru You know what I'm saying? But back 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 to football, man. The offensive line is important, and I've been saying that for the last couple weeks now. Hey, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, bro. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I've been, you, you know, I've been worried about the offensive line. I've really been worried about the offensive line. When Brooks went down, I was worried. I was worried when Brooks went down. Because now you got to reshuffle. You know what I'm saying? You got to reshuffle. I was worried. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no Yannick. I don't, I, don't, I don't want no big name dude if he's not going on that offensive line right now. You got to protect. You got to protect. Listen, how good we think Miles Sanders is and Carson Wentz is, it all gets negated if you don't have an offensive line. Look how they talk about Le'Veon Bell right now. They talk about Le'Veon Bell like he a panhandler on the corner. He ain't got no offensive line, though. No offensive line. Phillip Rivers, no offensive line. They gave him the boot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sold on the offensive line right now, bro. That I hear about Ron Rivera. Yeah, man, that's 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 very unfortunate for Ron Rivera, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope he, you know. And look, Bleacher Report. Goddard has a fractured thumb. Eagles tight end has a hairline fracture. Could return to the field in the splint as soon as next week. Mike Polo, man, thank you for the donation. Probably because he had to do extra blocking because the offensive line wasn't blocking. Thanks for the donation, Mike Polo, man. Appreciate you, bro. I think Kayvon Wallace was a steal. I think he was a steal, too. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is, this is the point. This is the point that I'm making. The offensive line is very, very important to the success of this football team. Very important to the success of this football team. You have to worry when your offensive line is getting manhandled in practice. I don't care who you are. You got to worry, bruh. You got to worry about that. You got to worry about that. And 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 it's and and the thing th th this is the thing. They're protecting Carson Wentz. They are protecting Carson Wentz. They are opening running lanes for Miles Sanders. These are guys who are important to the offense. If Carson Wentz gets injured, the productivity of the entire offense goes down. Jalen Hurts is not Carson Wentz. I'm telling you, it's a difference. You have to keep your $100 million quarterback upright, man. You got to be able to do it, bro. You got to be able to do it. Now, because some of them plays have been Carson Wentz's fault. Holding on to the ball too long, trying to make something happen in practice. Absolutely. We don't know the context of it. Because I've been involved in football practices to where you run the same play. You run the same play. They take away the options to dump it off. Your offensive line has to hold up for you to get off this deep post route. And once defensive lines know the play, and they know they got to, and they and they know it's a pass play, they're going to they're going to try their hardest so you don't get that pass off. Now proper context does matter. They could be drawn out of play to where they asking these offensive linemen to block for seven seconds. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. The, car, the Philadelphia Eagles need to, I, f I feel you. I feel you, uh, Xavier. Uh, I think the Philadelphia Eagles need to roll Carson Wentz out a little more too. That's what I feel. I strongly believe they need to roll Carson Wentz out a little more. They can't be acting like that against Washington, getting career sacks on us. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're already talking about how good Washington uh, front line is. They're already talking about it. 
You know what I'm saying? And you think Washington not gonna be hungry? You know, they're not gonna be hungry week one. The coach just broke down to the team that he that he's sick. Every game that the Washington football team play is going to be trying to get this win for coach. Trying to get this win for coach. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be extra focused week one. Extra focus. But I like I like what I'm saying out the D-line because, like, can Haskins really stand in front of that fire? I don't think so. I don't think Haskins can stand in front of that fire. I don't think Garoppolo can stand in front of that fire. I don't think a lot of guys can stand in front of that fire that I think we possess on the defensive side of the ball. I don't think so. So we're going to see, man. These guys got to stay healthy and they got to continue to get after it, though. I think we will part ways with Jordan Mailata. They should have been did it. What's going on, Larry Phillips? Best left tackle in a division uh, from best to worst. Best left tackle in a division from best to worst? I think the Cowboys left tackle lost a step, but he's still probably the best. Uh, if you put Jason Peters back at left tackle, I think Jason Peters is the best left tackle still in the division. Um, then I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go to Redskins. Then I'm gonna go Giants. What's my opinion on Derek Barnett? He got to step up. He got to step up. Plain and simple, he got to step up. He's young. He's 24 years old. He's been in the game, what, four years now? He got to step up. He definitely got to step up. But, yo, make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. I'm having an official video coming uh, probably tomorrow if I don't do another one today. I think I want to enjoy some playoff basketball. But, you know, just some thoughts. Just some thoughts on the offensive line and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We're on the quest for 3,000 subs before the start of the season. I'm about to do a crazy sell on the merch on the hoodies. You know what I'm saying? We're doing a crazy uh, hoodie sell because it's about to be hoodie season. You know what I'm saying? We're going that way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep y'all um, all up to date on all that stuff. And shout out to y'all for buying the merch. Y'all be y'all been continuously buying the merch, sending me y'all pictures, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it moving, man. Just glad I caught a live. Hey, I appreciate you, Marcus Kane. What do I think about Caleb Von Wallace? I think he's a steal. I think he's a diamond in the rough. How about them Lakers? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Dame smoked your boots. Uh, Dame smoked your boots week one. Dame smoked your boots week one. See, the crazy thing is, me, me, me living in the suburbs, it's really odd for people to see me just sitting in my truck. It's so odd. Like I, I like, like I could easily go in the house. But I sit in my truck and I go live. It's like odd to them. I'm just waiting for the day for somebody to call the cops and then I'd be like, I live here. Then I'm gonna ask the cop, do you wanna square up for, for disturbing my peace? But yo, I'm a um, official video coming later. I'm gonna get with y'all, sorry about that. Got a phone call. But you already know the vibes. Make sure you like and you subscribe.